What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day number two of our seven day challenge where we teach you how to just learn how to jump rope. So in today's video we're going to cover correct hand placement on the jump rope along with how far to extend your arms when skipping. Before we do any of that, what I want you to do is pause and we're going to run through two 30 second periods of just practicing the regular bounce to pick up from yesterday. So let's stop, let's break, let's do two, two rounds of 30 seconds of you just practicing practicing regular bounce with a jump rope, and then we'll get into hand placement. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so first we're gonna start off with a little bit of practice from yesterday. We got Brandon on the jump rope again, doing regular bounce. All I want you guys to do here is focus again on your rhythm, the homework from yesterday. That one, two, three, four um, bouncing, and just slowly do the regular bounce. If you can't go very fast, that is completely fine. Remember guys, the most important thing is that we want you to get your form down. If you don't get your form down, you're not gonna be able to do all the other tricks and everything uh, for jump rope that you need to be able to do. So make sure to concentrate most of this, uh, most of your time first on just being perfect at doing the regular bounce. Let's go one more 30 second interval here, ladies and gentlemen, and then we'll have you into the tutorial where we'll talk about hand placement for the day. And guys, don't, don't you know, you don't need to go as fast for this. This is more about just finding your rhythm. So if you need to go a little bit slower, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Nice. Now that you guys have practiced, let's go take a look at how to hold the rope when jumping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hand placement of the jump rope. L look first, when I'm holding the rope, my hands are out and my palms are facing upward and my thumbs are on the rope. A lot of people make the mistake of gripping the rope and wrapping their thumb around their hand. You actually wanna have the thumb up near the top of the handle so that you can control it more. And also, like you see here as I start jumping with it, um, my hand placement is keeping the rope open. So when you're holding the jump rope and spinning it as you can see here um, you want to have a nice open handle and again have your thumb up towards the end of the handle um, and you want to have a nice relaxed grip don't be squeezing the rope too tight because you want to be able to whip it around and have your wrists and forearms controlling it all right ladies and gentlemen that's how you hold the rope the next thing I want to focus on is your arms the arms are very important because I see a lot of people going like this and they take their power away when their arms are straight like that the right form to have for your arms when jumping rope is to have your elbows in and spinning like this so your wrists and forearm are really controlling everything and keeping the rope tight excuse me keeping the rope tight guys arm extension by far the biggest mistake I see people making is extending their arms too far do you see here how my arms are bent this is the reason I'm able to spin the rope very fast as you'll see here um, from the footage in a second I keep my elbows in and all I'm doing is using my forearms and my wrists to spin the rope around at a very high high pace that ladies and gentlemen is exactly what we want look here look how much control I have look how tight the rope stays because I have that leverage because I'm wound up like a coil and my forearms and wrist are controlling everything a lot of people make the mistake of extending their arms and then they have no power the rope doesn't stay tight it doesn't swing fast enough and they mess up Putting into practice what we have learned, I'm gonna take you guys through two 30 second periods of just jumping rope. And a lot of this footage up next is gonna focus on showing you the proper form with your forearms and hand placement of the jump rope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, little homework time. Let's go. Let's focus on our wrist placement and also our arm extension. So check again, look at my wrists here. Check out my wrists. They are literally exactly, they're open. My thumbs are going towards the top of the handle and the rope is very tight. Um, my left elbow isn't as far in, but again, guys, they don't have to be, I wanna stress, they don't have to be the whole way in, but just notice as I turn to the side here, my upper arm pretty much stays exactly where it is and then everything that's moving is in my forearm and wrist. That's really what you want it to look like. Come on, Zen Dude Nation, 10 second rest, and then we're right back on it. And guys, for those who are a little bit overachievers, don't just do this twice. Feel free to do this more, uh, feel free to do this four times if, if you're feeling up for it, if you feel like you need, you need a little bit more practice. Um, 
keep practicing guys be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video and we'll get right back after it for tuning in today's Endu Nation. Be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we cover proper foot placement when jumping rope and also changing speeds.